and 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 Nogopo, Nogopo is the demonic headquarters in the Volta region. I would say that because of the provisions of the constitution, perhaps, just perhaps, Reverend Ajahn Asari, maybe he shouldn't have publicized that. He knows he's a miracle worker, he's a spiritual man, he knows it. But maybe he shouldn't have said it. Immediately we go to Nogopo. Bishop Yawedus, four wheel drive. The tie came out from under the car. So, in that context, uh, let, let's get back to the scripture. I'm not sure why Reverend Ajinasare, with all the miracles he has achieved, which he can tell his people and tell people in confidence, was saying it publicly that some Nogopo people were able to remove, they were not able to do anything. You are doing the God work. Now let's go to 2 Corinthians 10, 4, King James Version. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So our weapons, they are not carnal. So I don't come and stand here as a pastor and tell people about what I did or what happened. No, it's spiritual. They will see the outcome. They will see that I'll go to Agbozome and come 500 times and nothing will happen. I have for Emma Kwaba, Eddie Bar Vimbas TV. So, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, I go so a Vimbas. Paul Adam Autry, our journalist, as I say, your host of Good Evening Ghana. No, at the side of Chester Bash, Abba, Amma, Archbishop Charles Ajinasari. I say, Archbishop statement now, yeah, yeah, concerning Nogopo saying, say, Nogopo is the demonic headquarters of the Volta region. No, a year wrong. Ochemoa, or say, Senor Kasa, any dear. Eh, nya dia eye eh, eh, adepa o sanso to aso eche mu se se uko bebi na se che se demons abe tu tire won se usuro because e eh, nyankopon ne permit ye e eh, mani si ye e eh, po adu mo twa mfa nsi ho o to aso eche mu se anka that particular story na o ka che congregant no anka wo se o keeping it to himself and I say, ne pastor say almost surrounding on anka wo se o ka chere om enye se o beba out aba begu no go po mufi. O kasa e pi, e sa so de Bible quotations, e ba ke di e o kano. Mumi yon koti e, di e prophet, po adomotre, e kan ye, ne fo adwin tre, e fa comment session no, e ma e. Vimbas TV so, e na uwe. Okay. Now, let's deal with the uh, no go po matter. We have a constitutional angle to it, don't we? And our flyer said, that Bishop Ajahn Asari is a true man of God. That's where I'm going to start from. He is a true man of God. We believe that. Now, when I joined the uh, International Central Gospel Church, Pastor Otabel's church, Reverend Ajahn Asari was a member of the church. He used to preach on Tuesdays. He was an amazing miracle worker. He carried the unction of the Spirit of God that he still carries. He carried it even then. So I know Reverend Ajahn Asari, many of us don't know, the Reverend Ajahn Asari was part of Pastor Otabel's uh, church. He was. So Reverend Ajahn Asari was preaching at Bedin Power Hall at the International Central Gospel Church, Pastor Otabel's church. Now, he was a miracle worker. Prophet Anor was the prophet in the church. And that's how we were raised in the charismatic Christendom. That, that's why we are so powerful, you see. That's why we, these are the people that we learned at their feet. So we are solid. <laughs> You understand that, don't you? So, Pastor Otabel, so, and Reverend Ajahn Asari then went to Tamale uh, in the northern. I never saw him preach there. But at all material times when he was in Tamale, we, we knew that he was the ICGC pastor in Tamale. And he started a church there. After a while, he came, he left the church, which ICGC took over, I believe, and came to Accra on his own. He didn't take the members away, no. He left the church there, came to Accra to start a new mission. Pastor Otabel announced to the church that Reverend Ajahn Asari has left. He started World Bible... I've forgotten what the church was called. It's now called Perez, but it used to be called something. I can't remember. World Miracle Church. Oh, World Bible was Kranchankra, sorry. So World Miracle... Something miracle. Something about miracle. Because he's a miracle worker, you know. So Pastor Otabel announced to the church that Reverend Ajahn Asari has joined another... He started another church, his own mission, and therefore he's gone. Our Tamale Church will do so, so, and so. Prophet Anno will take over that miracle ministry, prophetic, etc. But Professor Anno was doing the Solution Center on Thursdays, uh, not long after Professor Anno was shifted by Pastor Otabel to start his own church in Adenta, which he still has, which I've been there so many times. Fantastic church in Adenta, one of the pillars of the ICGC vision uh, wrought by Pastor and Mrs. Otabel. Okay, so 
so that's how I know that's how I know that's how I know. this is a great correct, correct man of God okay uh, now let's get into some of the details what did he say what did he say he said uh, Nogopo is the evil did he say headquarters something like that okay now for my money if I have to paint this with a broad brush I would say that because of the provisions of the Constitution perhaps just perhaps Reverend Ajahn Asari maybe he shouldn't have publicized that he knows he's a miracle worker he's a spiritual man he knows it but maybe he shouldn't have said it why this is the reason okay article 21 of the Republican Constitution general fundamental freedoms all persons shall have the right to freedom to practice any religion and to manifest such practice very important all persons all all sinner unbeliever paul joel john that's gloria abna kofi all persons jj rollins akufuado john mahama all persons all persons shall have the right to freedom of to practice any religion and to manifest such practice is the manifestation of such practice okay now uh, i had a video to show but i'm not sure we'll show that we, we don't need it uh, so uh, guys we don't need that video we don't have time so let me just say it in then those who need it i can give it to you later in the 1960 population census that we have shared on the, here that's the video that uh, maybe how long is it how long is the video ask them in the 1960 population census viewers the um, the religion was classified into three different religions african traditional religion christianity and islam that's how the 1960 population census was conducted that's how all population census have been conducted since then within the context of asking the individuals being counted what is their religion okay all right now that's uh, that, that's uh, uh, that question that comes to us christianity so you say you are christianity they will ask you what is your place of worship then i say saint catherine's catholic church saint maron's catholic church uh, ebenezer society methodist church presbyterian something in adenta where do you go to church and they check how the distance between your house and the church and all that so the place for a christian the symbol of christian worship is church the symbol of islamic worship is a mosque and the symbol of african traditional religion is the shrine therefore if a leader a religious leader should not be able to say that the representation of a shrine is demonic under the 1992 constitution we can't say that that the representation of a shrine is demonic because you see we christians use the word demonic muslims use the word demonic and so does the african traditional religion so one who practices african traditional religion when he sleeps and has a wild dream he goes to the fetish and he goes to the fetish to ask the fetish to exorcise the spirit of the demon so they also consider that as demonic so if you say that nogopo which is a shrine for for the practice of african traditional religion is demonic that's derogatory and article 21 does not allow you to say that all persons shall have the rights to freedom to practice any religion and to manifest so the manifestation of the practice of african traditional religion may be a fetish priest who is half naked and is on the street is holding something shaking it and doing something like that that may be the manifest the manifestation of my religion is immortal invisible god only wise that's my religion manifestation of islam and we do that in the church we do that in a mosque we do that in a shrine so the shrine is a place of worship for that reason i believe that my very respected Ajahn Asari ought not to have publicly declared a shrine which is the symbol of african traditional religion recognized as one of the religious processes in ghana as a demonic establishment under the law not under social social not under religion not under anything but under the law okay all right let's move on okay we already said the shrine is a place of worship just like a church and a mosque adherence to the african traditional religion also believe in the concept of demons 
as evil creatures and spirits. So the demonic thing, that's, that's, that's the point we make here. The, the, the adherence to the African traditional religion, they also believe in demons. They believe that demons plague them. We believe demons plague us. Muslims believe demons plague them. Demons are with the devil. African traditional religion also sees the Lucifer as a devil. They believe that they are worshipping God because that's the religion that they inherited from their fathers. And they told them that Onyanku Pong Kwame. And they said Ata Nanyomo. So they know that they are worshipping their God. But their practice is different. And the constitution says they are justified to practice their religion. Okay? So that's what it is. Let's move on. Oh, I'm looking for more. You know what? Please put the rest of Ajinasari. However, coming back to the uh, Reverend Ajinasari narrative, eh? Okay? I have second Corinthians here, fantastic. From I I did I have the, the book, the Imanoleni. I hope it's part of it. I'm going to say some very interesting things, okay? Viewers, permit me. Um, Reverend Ajinasari as a Christian and a Christian leader. If you watch the narrative, and I was going to show the video, but I won't. If you watch the narrative of the Nogopo story and you look at his body language, uh, the bishop said that the car of his associate pastor. They, after they left Agbozome, somewhere they went through Nogopo, the entire car, uh, tie came out of under the 4x4 car. Now, that remark, which drew laughter, anxiety from his audience, I think that remark could have been said another way. Because for us Christians, as the, as the prophet said, uh, Apostle Paul said, there's no name under the sun and beyond the sun under the sea that is greater than the name of Christ. We do not glorify, uh, uh, how, how do I call it? We do not glorify schemes from other people. We glorify the eternal Jesus Christ, the, the Elohim. That's the one we glorify. We don't glorify schemes. So if some tie was removed from the car, it is not anybody who is God who did it. For us Christians, we don't, we don't know. We don't, we, don't, we don't care. We don't know anybody. Is God we know now? How do how do I, why do I say that? Because in the kind of traditional uh, uh, charismatic context that I was raised in, there was this book, "Delivered from the Power of Darkness," is by Emmanuel Amos Eni, an amazing testimony of an ex Satan's agent. This book caused ripples in the late eighties and early nineties. Everybody was reading it, and the author said he's a former devil, or he's a former witch, or he's a former something demon. And he had horrendous stories about what demons do. They drink blood, they jump on your head, they can turn themselves into mosquito, and they can be rabbit and scorpion. Charlie, it was scary. In Presec, when you read below, Delivered from Public, make sure you read it in the afternoon. You read it in the night, you are in trouble. Oh. You are walking from prep, and the trees shake, you are running away, some demon is coming. One day we went to church at ICGC. God bless Pastor Otabel. God bless Pastor Otabel. Pastor Otabel brought this book, raised it, and said, nobody should read this book again. What is this? Pastor Otabel, I was excited because I was too scared to read Emmanuel and his testimony. And Pastor Otabel said, no, this is demonic. He threw the book away. He said, nobody should read it. I think that was the end of that book. I think because of what Pastor Otabel said, that was the end, the beginning of the end of that book. Nobody bought it again. Now nobody even knows about it. This is it. Delivered from the power of darkness by Imanolini. Otabel said, for the devil is a liar. And everything he says is a lie. For he has nothing to do but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In John 10.10, 10, the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He has nothing to offer you. So don't read his account. Read the Holy Bible. So in that context... Uh, let, let's get back to the scripture. I'm not sure why Reverend Ajinasari, with all the miracles he has achieved, which he can tell his people and tell people in confidence, was saying it publicly that uh, some uh, Nogopo people were able to remove. They were not able to do anything. You are doing the God work. Now let's go to 2 Corinthians 10 4, King James Version. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So our weapons, they are not carnal. So I don't come and stand here as a pastor and tell people about what I did or what happened. No, it's spiritual. They will see the outcome. They will see that I'll go to Agbozome and come 500 times and nothing will happen. 
Everything I see in the spirits, I can discuss my associate's pastor. I say, do you see that thing that we saw? You know that it was an attack? But I won't come and say it publicly because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God. So the pulling down of strongholds. I have another scripture here. Ephesians 12, Ephesians 6, 12, King James Version. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Our wrestle is not with flesh and blood called a name. Oh, we are not wrestling with flesh and blood called something that we can touch. It's sitting in a, a, a Konongo Junction, we can touch it. There's a signboard that we can go and hold it. No, we do not wrestle that way. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle in the spirit. So, because you're a spiritual man, the things that have a physical sort of appearance, even though they may have spiritual background, I don't think the Reverend Asari, Ajahn Asari uh, should have spoken about it. The last part. Very sensitive, so I'll make it very short. The last part. The people of uh, the Nogopu Shrine who are giving Reverend Ajahn Asari 14 days. I don't even understand it. 14 days to do what? Here it is. Section 74 of the Criminal and Other Offenses Act 1960 Act 29. Whoever threatens any other person with unlawful harm with intent to put that person in fear or unlawful harm shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. So they cannot do that. Nobody can tell us that I'm giving you one day, two day, three day, four day. You can't do that. You can't say that. You can't do anything about that. And I like this guy so much. This guy who did his, uh, he's an airway. And he did the video and, and put it out. There was an earlier video that we were looking for this evening. They've deleted it. Some lady came and threatened at the side. You say, hey, well, you see what Nogopo will do to you. I quickly sent it to my brother. Look at her. Let's switch to TV. They've deleted it. That means they are, they are thinking, well, I, I like that. But this other guy did a video. I was just watching it yesterday. And I said, yes, this guy is making a lot of sense. You see, we are one guy. For Adumotri Enna, Yetin in Kase, Wakana Green, Ediache, Archbishop Charles Ajinasari in a respectful way. Now, one thing uh, a lot of people noticed, and he said, Paul Adumotri uh, thought Nugopo is just uh, a, a ghost and idol worshipping center, but he didn't know, say, Nugopo is a town. And no, and I'm a lot of people are uh, correcting you know, after that particular program. Notwithstanding, you no know, message Nananka or Pese or Sende to Archbishop Charles Ajinasari, he was able to put it across. Only Paul Adam Otre, yeah, Adrian, for Adrian Che, FR comment session. And my once again, Vimbas TV, so and I will not subscribe here and my YouTube channel. Like Kai will say, subscribe, send a bear, the more interesting stories. A bear, yeah, that's it. Vimbas TV, Vimbas TV.